Okay. Um, um, can everybody hear me? Hello, can you hear me? Yes, teacher. Okay, all right, thank you very much. All right, let's begin. Okay, I think everything is uh, in order. Um, let's start, I'm going to uh, just share the screen with you. If you just give me a second, be this one, and I'm going to close this other file. Okay. Okay, everybody. Welcome once again. This is Inglés Intermedio Modulo 3, and that's me, Ivan Duñan, at your service. Once again, it's Intermediate 3 session 10 and today is October 25th of 2022. So we're going to begin first, we're going to have a short review of the content we studied yesterday. And that's going to be may and might. So in this class, you will listen, practice and learn about what language the modal verse and adverse. Now you have the modal verse. We have may and might. Okay, so this is the same information from yesterday, just a review. Okay, solamente un repaso. So how do we use may and might? Just remember, we use may and might to say that something is possible. Okay, you use may and might when you are not sure about something. Okay, that's the idea. You express only a possibility. So. You say, for example, it may be true. When you say it may be true, that means it is possible that it is true. The same thing happens when you say it might be true. Okay, that means it is possible, it is true. Also, when you say she might know, that means it is possible that she knows or she may know. She Maybe she knows, I'm sorry. She may know. The negative forms are may not and might not. Remember, to form the negative, in this case, you just need to add the particle not to the verb. So if you say it may be true, the negative is it may not be true. And that means perhaps it isn't true or it is possible it isn't true. You also say she might not know. That means perhaps she doesn't know or it is possible that she doesn't know. Okay, before we continue, let's see how many people do we have. There's Natalie, Roberto Carlos, Luis Enriquez, Rufina Milcar, Claudia Iraeta, Olivia Osorio, Estela Lara, Jenny Sanchez, Michelle Escobar, Alejandra Magaña, and Imelda Sanchez. Everybody, welcome. Okay, so what is the structure? It's pretty simple. If you remember yesterday, uh, I told you that modal auxiliaries basically follow two rules. Do you remember the rules? Who can tell me the rules? ¿Quién me puede decir las, las dos reglas generales que tienen los modal auxiliaries que vimos el día de ayer? Who knows the answer? Mm -hmm. Nobody remembers. <laughs> uh, the verb is the base form. Okay, the verb that follows the model should be or must always be in base form. That is correct. Thank you, Natalie. So that's one of the rules. After the modal auxiliary, you have to use a verb in base form. That's the only form, the only form. There are no exceptions right here. So that's the first one. And what about the second one? What's the other rule? I think there's no change with the third person. Okay, that is correct. Thank you, Alejandra. There is no special form for the subjects he, she, or it. Okay, the model stays the same for all subjects in all situations. So, as you have it here, you can use I, you, he, she, it, we, or they. It doesn't make a difference. And after that, you use the model may or might. If it's negative, you will say may not 
or might not. And after that, you need to use a verb in base form, like be, know, work, want, etc. So yeah, those are the rules right there. Number one, you have to use a verb in base form. And number two, models don't have a special form for he, she, or it. May and might are models, okay? And they express that something is possible. So you have uh, may and might again, you use it or you use them, I'm sorry, to talk about possible actions or events in the future also, okay? If they are possible. You say, I haven't decided where to go on vacation. I may go to Ireland. That means perhaps I will go there. Maybe I will go there. It's possible. Take an umbrella with you. It might rain later, okay? That means it is possible that it will rain later, okay? Perhaps it will rain later. The bus isn't always on time. We might have to wait a few minutes. That means perhaps we will have to wait. It is possible that we will have to wait at the bus stop because the bus isn't always on time. Sometimes it's on time, sometimes it is not. So um, I want you to compare right here. When you say, I am going to buy a car, that's for sure. That means you have a plan, you have an intention. That means this is not a possibility. You are sure about it. So you say, I am going to buy a car. But what happens in this case when you say, I may or I might buy a car? That means this is not, I mean, you are not sure about it. It's only a possibility. You see, I may buy a car, I might buy a car. That means it is possible only. You are not sure, it's only possible. Also, uh, you can use, well, usually you can use may or might. Okay, so you can say, I might go to Ireland or I may go to Ireland. Both are very, very close in meaning. You can say Jane might be able to help you or Jane may be able to help you, okay? However, be careful right here. We use might but not may when the situation is not real, okay? You use this when uh, it is uh, hypothetical, okay? When it's imaginary, like in this case, if they paid me better, I might work harder. Es el ejemplo que está acá. Dice, si me pagaran mejor, trabajaría más duro. Pero a la persona no le pagan lo suficientemente bien, por lo tanto, no se esfuerza lo que, lo que siente que debería. So if they pay me better, I might work harder. In this case, the only option is might, because this is a hypothetical situation. It's imaginary. No podemos ocupar may porque esta situación no refleja algo que es posible, sino algo que es imaginario, nada más, no es real. Así que solo might se puede utilizar. So again, in this situation, if they paid me better, uh, it's not real. They do not pay me well, so I'm not going to work harder. That's the example right there. And now we have this, this is new information, okay? Lo anterior en un repaso. Ya hicimos los ejercicios, ahora vamos con esto. May, might, and could. Now we have another model. We have the model could. Could is similar to may and might. Very similar. So you have this. Uh, who can help me read this example, please? I need a volunteer. I need a volunteer to help me read this. Mm -hmm. ¿Quién me ayuda a leer el ejemplo, por favor? Okay, uh, Amilcar, and then Michelle for the next one. Thank you, Amilcar. Uh, this, it's it's a, strange, a, a strange story, but it could be true. Yes, thank you. It's a strange story, but... It could be true. Podría ser verdad. That means it is possible that it's true. Okay. Like this meme. True story. He says. So 
again, it's a strange story, but it could be true. Podría ser cierta, podría ser verdad. So we use could to say that something is possible now or in the future. So may, might, and could are very, very close, very, very similar in meaning. Now we have some more examples. Can Michelle, please, can you help me read the two examples at the end of the slide? The story could be true, but I don't know, but I don't think it is. Mm -hmm. I the don't know what, the, what time Lisa is coming. She could get here at any time. Thank you, Michelle. So first example, the story could be true. That means maybe it is true, but I don't think it is. Okay. And the second one, I don't know what time Liz is coming. She could get here at any time. Podría llegar acá en cualquier momento. It's possible. Maybe next minute, maybe in one hour. I don't know. Okay. We're talking about what is possible only. So remember, may, might, and could are very, very close in meaning. Okay. Very, very close. They're basically the same. So what are we going to do right here? Your turn, okay? I have a chat here. Estela says, no pude entrar en la clase de ayer, teacher. Yeah, sí, eh, me di cuenta que no estuvo. Pero bueno, ya estamos acá, que es lo importante. Thank you, Estela, for your message. Well, um, también por eso, porque algunos no pudieron entrar a la clase de ayer, es que al principio he dado un repaso así rapidito para, bueno, refrescarnos un poco a los que estuvimos ayer y los que no pudieron estar, pues, para que tengan una mejor idea de qué fue lo que estudiamos. Siempre acordémonos que el video está disponible después de la clase para que usted lo vea, bueno, tal vez no en la misma noche porque ya es tarde, pero sí al día siguiente, ¿verdad? En un momentito que tal vez tengamos libre. Ok, so, here's your turn. Complete the sentences you need to choose from could be, could be, could fall, could come, and could sleep. I have 14 participants, so I'm going to form breakout rooms right now. You're going to be working in pairs. So, let's see, seven groups. Okay, room one, Estela Lara and Olivia Osorio. Room two, Michelle Escobar and Natalie Alejandra. Room three, three, sorry, there's Imelda Sanchez and Jenny Sanchez. The two Sanchez. Okay, room four, Alejandra Magaña and Sonia Guadalupe. Room five, Claudia Iraeta and Rufino Amilcar. Room six, Luis Enriquez and Manuel Aristides. And room seven, Paola Maria and Roberto Carlos. Okay, Roberto Carlos, the singer or the soccer player. I don't know. So let's do this. Um, I'm going to open the breakout rooms and I'm going to send this picture into the WhatsApp uh, group. Everybody, please join the breakout rooms now.
dormir. Por week. Por week. Por Por sleep. Por 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 dormir. Por no, no, no. Uh, call sleep en la 1. Sí. Ay, pero no puedo escribir. And the two. Uh, ¿Podrías abrir esta carta? Yes, mm -hmm. sí, por favor. Es very important. Este. Could be. Could be. Mm -hmm. Could be important. Ok. Nada más eh, como una observación, ¿verdad? Y, y una observación constructiva. Um, si es posible, cuando estemos resolviendo ejercicios o haciendo cualquier cosa en inglés, leyendo, hay que evitar ir traduciendo porque eso nos malacostumbra al final. En cierta medida es útil, es bastante útil hacerlo, pero si lo hacemos mucho después ya no podemos leer sin ir traduciendo las cosas. Así que lo mejor es irlo leyendo en inglés y en la mente lo vamos procesando siempre en inglés, ¿verdad? Mm -hmm. Y eso nos acostumbra, ¿verdad? A, a, al idioma. Ok. I'm going to go into a different um, room. I'll be back. Buenas noches. Yo acabo de... Hola, los voy a agregar a los breakout rooms ahorita. Thank you, teacher. Ok. Thank you, teacher. Hello, have you finished? Yes, teacher. Okay. Yes. What about number three? Where should we meet tomorrow? Well, I could come to your office if you like. That is good. Thank you. I'm going to go into a different room now. See you in a few minutes. Okay, teacher. Hello, ladies. Should I open this letter? Mm -hmm. Should I open this letter? Yes, please. It, it could be important. It could be important. That is correct. Okay, very good. Please continue. I have to visit another room. See you in a few minutes. Teacher, hoy le tengo una queja. Una queja. ¿Qué Yo no pasó? sé qué está pasando con el ingreso. Como este, me parecía ahí poner un montón de como especie de clave. De clave. Entonces, sí, lo ponía, lo ponía, lo ponía. Nada. Como 15 minutos para poder entrar. De veras. Sí. Fíjese que yo la vez pasada mandé un, un correo, ¿verdad? Y me dijeron Ajá. que había que seguir las instrucciones del video que les habían mandado y que si no funcionaba entonces que había que actualizar Zoom pero es lo único que sé yo ahí ya detalles más técnicos desafortunadamente no tengo el conocimiento ni ajá así que no yo les... instalé ajá instalé la actualización y nada nada entonces ya voy a ya voy a y ella también Griselda acaba de entrar porque tuvo uh -huh. problemas de ingresar sí sí así vi que uh -huh. se tardó un poquito pero ya estamos acá por lo menos <ríe> bueno ya terminamos <ríe> ok have, have you finished the exercise finish exercise ok what about number five number five Alejandra <ríe> don't run around the pool and why you could fall in from Let's it's drown. Drown. Okay. Uh, if you fall in a pool. Oh, oh. Mm, all right. Okay. Mm -hmm. That's right. Mm -hmm. You could drown. You could fall solely and drown. You could fall, I'm sorry, and drown. Okay. Um, thank you. I'll have to visit another room right now. I'll be back. Teacher. Yes. Una, una, una consulta. Yes. 
es también un auxiliar, ¿verdad? Pero que el verbo cool. eh, school uh -huh. es un auxiliar, pero que también el verbo lo lleva en base. Sí, es un modo. Modo. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Okay. Made my cool some model auxiliaries. Lo mismo que can, will, should, would. Y cool y... es como podría. Podría, uh -huh. también. Así es. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Correcto. Ok. okay. okay. Hello, Claudia. Ahorita Hello. viene, ahorita viene, ah, está ocupada. Bueno, <risa> bueno, bueno. Into the class with my cell phone. Ah, okay. But, but I think, I think, uh, when I hello, have you finished? Hi, teacher. Hi. Have you finished the exercise? Yeah. Okay. Can you read number four? Me pueden ayudar leyendo la número cuatro. Uh, where did you put? The remote control. I don't remember it. Could be anywhere. It could be anywhere. Okay, very good. I'm yeah. going to visit the final breakout room and then we're going to go back to class. Coming. I'll come in here. <laughs> coming back. <laughs> okay, hello. Um, have you finished the exercise? Yes, finish. Okay. Can you read number Good. three for me, please? Okay. Number three. Mm -hmm. uh, where shall we meet tomorrow? Well, I call come to your office if you like. Correct. I could come to your office if you like. Thank you. We're going to... Uh, uh, get out of the breakout rooms now. I'll see ya. I'll see ya. Yep. Thank, okay, yep, everybody. Thank We're going to uh, exit the breakout rooms now. See you in one minute. Teacher. Dígame. Uh, I'm sorry. Uh, I I have uh, some issue with my computer and the, really yeah the I think the the speaker uh, put on on mute so uh -huh. I I I, re I reset my computer but I get in with my cell phone then okay. my, when I get in with my cell phone readdress to another room but mm -hmm. I was in. Ah. <laughs> ah, don't worry about it. It's okay. But thank okay, you for thank you. thank you for telling me. <laughs> yeah, thank you. Okay. 10 seconds. Okay, everybody. Can you see the screen? Yes, teacher. Great. Okay, number one, volunteers, please. I'm going to read the question and then you help me with the answer. Uh, Manuel Aristides and Jenny Sanchez, number two. Number one, Manuel, number one. are you tired? You tired? Uh, yes, very tired. I feel, I feel as if I could sleep for a week. I feel as if I could sleep for a week. Okay, thank you, Manuel. Jenny, number two, should I open this letter? Should I open this letter? Yes, please. It could be important. Could be important. Okay, thank you, Jenny. That's correct. Number three, volunteer, please. 
wants to try? Uh -huh. Sonia, where should we meet tomorrow? Uh, your microphone, Sonia. Well, I come, I could come to you, your office, if you like. Correct. Very good. Uh, let's see. Someone was raising their hand. Uh, that was, that was Estela. What about Estela, number four, and Olivia, number five? Okay. Okay, number four. What did you do for the support control? I don't remember. It could be anywhere. Could be anywhere. That's right. Very good. Thank you. And Olivia, number five. Don't run around the pool. Don't Why? run around the pool. Mm -hmm. Why? You could fall and drown. You could fall and drown. Okay, that's right. Very good, everybody. So again, you use good for possibilities only. Okay, when something is possible, just like may and might. But what about this? We have something else now. Must and can't. Okay. This is different. We have studied made, my, and could for possibility. But now we have to study must and can't. Take a look. This lady says, my house is near the highway. And he says, it must be very noisy. Okay. There's a lot of noise. So we use must to say that we believe something is certain, okay? Es cuando estamos muy seguros que algo es cierto o verdadero. That's the meaning of it. So you have some examples. Maybe you can help me read them. I need a volunteer to read example number one, please. Olivia, no sé si... Ah, no. <laughs> Bajo la manita. Okay. Uh -huh. I need volunteers to help me read the first example, please. Me quiera puede participar. Jenny, and then Estela. You have been traveling all day. You must be tired. Thank you, Jenny. You have been traveling all day. You must be tired. Mm-hmm. Ha estado viajando todo el día a estar cansado. You must be tired. This is a logical conclusion. Okay. Tiene visitas, Olivia. Ahí vemos. <laughs> okay. So, um, you have been traveling all day. You must be tired. So, the second one, Estela. Joe is a hard worker. Yeah, you must be joking. Joking. He does anything. Mm -hmm. He doesn't do anything. He doesn't do anything. Okay, thank you, Stella. Uh, it's a conversation. The first person says, Joe is a hard worker. Trabaja muy duro, ¿verdad? el otro, Joe? You must be joking. He doesn't do anything. You must be joking. He doesn't do anything. And the last one, I need a volunteer to help me read it, please. Who wants to try? Olivia. Laura must get very bored in her job. She doesn't, she does the, me lo tapa la mano. Uh, she does the same thing every day. Yes, thank you, Olivia. Laura must get very bored in her job. She does the same thing every day, right? Debe aburrirse mucho en su trabajo. Todos los días hace lo mismo. So again, look, must is a model auxiliary that you use when you are sure about something. This time, it's not a possibility. You are sure. O por lo menos está convencido o convencida que así es. Okay? That's the idea. Now, what about can't? Can't is the opposite. We use can't to say that we believe something is not possible. 
okay? Again, we use can't to say that we believe that something is not possible. It's the opposite of must. Estamos seguros de que algo no es posible. Estamos seguros que algo es imposible. Eso no puede ser. Okay, you have two examples. Who can help me read? Please. Pero quisiera escuchar otras voces porque siempre escucho las mismas. Y está súper bien que me participen. Pero hay unos que no les conozco la voz. <laughs> uh -huh. So, let's see. I just, I just need volunteers to read. Solo requiero unos voluntarios para que lean los ejemplos, por favor. Griselda, Francisco, oh, and then Manuel. Okay, so ladies first. Griselda, then Francisco, then Manuel. So, Griselda, please. Okay, teacher. We using can to say that we believe something is not possible. Something is not possible. Okay, something first example, please. You, you just had lunch. You can, you can be hungry already. Thank you. So you just had lunch. You can't be hungry already. Acabas de almorzar, le dice. No puedes tener hambre ya. Yeah. So that means we don't expect people to be hungry immediately after a meal. Okay. Thank you, Griselda. Let's see. Uh, Fra Francisco, I believe, was number two. Thank you. Okay. Uh, they, haven't, they haven't lived here for very long. They can know many people. Mm -hmm. They haven't lived here for very long. They can know many people. No han vivido aquí mucho tiempo. No pueden conocer mucha gente. Okay. They are the new neighbors. So they haven't lived here for very long. They can't know many people. All right. So what is the structure? The same structure because they are models. Okay. For all the subjects, they are the same. I, you, he, she, it, we, or they. You use must to say that you are sure about something and you use can't to say that you are sure that something is impossible, okay? These are opposites. And after that, you have to use a verb in base form. Son las mismas reglas de antes porque son modal auxiliaries. Todos estos verbos que hemos estado viendo desde ayer son modal auxiliaries, así que todos siguen las mismas reglas. Regla un número uno, no tienen una forma especial. Bueno, esa es la regla número dos, pero regla número uno sería más bien eh, que siempre les sigue un verbo en forma base. Regla número dos, no tienen una forma especial para he, she o it. Es parejo, es igual para todos los sujetos. So, what are you going to do? I'm going to uh, form breakout rooms, but this time of three people, they're going to be new groups, okay? And I want you to complete the sentences with must or can't. Let's see. Breakout rooms, but new groups now. By the way, ¿cuántos son? Quiero ver. 18, okay, perfect. We're going to create six groups. Okay, of three people. Room one, Roberto Carlos, Rufino Amilcar, and Sonia Guadalupe. Room two, Alejandra Magaña, Griselda de Mejía, and Michelle Escobar. Room three, Francisco Isaac, Luis Enriquez, and Olivia Osorio. Room four, Claudia Iraeta, Estela Lara, and Jenny Sanchez. Room five, Imelda Sanchez, Manuel Aristides, and Paola Maria. Room six, Jose Vega, Luis Enriquez, and Natalie Alejandra. I'm going to form the breakout rooms now, and I'm going to send this via WhatsApp. Everybody, please join the breakout rooms now. Okay, everybody, I have just shared the picture via WhatsApp. Everybody, please join the breakout rooms and I'm going to start visiting right now.
Okay. We start the traveling of day. Uh, you must, you be must tire. be tired. Mm -hmm. Okay. Must. Yes. Mm -hmm. The second. Number two. Uh -huh. That restaurant can be very good. It's always full of people. What? Lo que dice después, verdad? It's always full of people. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Entonces, ¿será can't o será must? It's must. Mm -hmm. That restaurant must. must be very good. It's always very full. Good. Mm -hmm. Pero se le llena. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Must. Okay. Must. Okay. okay. Must. I'm going to go yeah. into a different room now. See you later. Okay. Thank too. you. Mm -hmm. Okay. What number is? Mm -hmm. The first is most. Mm -hmm. The second most. And the third is can. Hey, pero le damos la oración entera. No, es que si <laughs> te la leímos. Ah, vaya, vaya, está bien. Okay, what about number four? I'm not sure Katie in her dress. I must have it in somewhere. I must have it somewhere. Yeah, because you are sure. Okay. Good. I'm going to visit another room now. See you later. Es positivo, ¿verdad? El not, porque está hablando que bueno. ¿Dónde? Sí. Ajá, ahí es el, el, el de que no podría ser mejor, ¿verdad? Ajá. Yeah. Entonces ahí el can not. Ajá, pero yo es positivo igual en la 3. The first one cannot be very good. Ajá. It's always empty. Hello. Hi. Sí. What about, okay, number two. Can you read number two for me, please? That restaurant can be very good. It's always empty. Empty, number three. Okay, good. And what about number two? Uh, that restaurant uh, can't be very good is always full of people ah but look it's always full of people so that restaurant can't cannot mm -mm. Mm -mm. Um, it's must 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 that restaurant must be very good it's always oh. full of people siempre está lleno Oh, ah, pensábamos bueno. que era que era ajá, el restaurante no puedes oh, sí ajá. <ríe> si se fijan la dos y la tres se parecen pero al final no aparece puedes. una oración diferente la número tres yes. nos dice that restaurant can't be very good it's always empty siempre está vacío no no es servir la comida Okay, well, servicio. Yeah. So that restaurant can't be very good. Okay. Okay, let's continue. I have to visit uh, some other rooms. See you later. Thank you. See you later. See you later. Bye. Hello, ladies. Have you finished the exercise? Hi, teacher. So, have you finished? Yeah? Yes. Wow, you're so fast. 
Okay, <laughs> what about number seven? Uh, Anyone, I mean, cualquiera podía leerla ahí, no hay problema. Aquí. Uh, you must be very happy. You must be very happy, correct. Yes, if you pass the exam, of course, you must be happy. Very good. What about number eight? This bill can be correct. It's too high. This bill can't be correct. It's too high. Okay, very good. That's the right answer. Okay, I'm going to visit another break of room now. See you in a few minutes. Bye. This meeting is being recorded. Hello, have you finished the exercise? Hello, yes, teacher. Okay. Can can you read number nine for me? Number nine. nine um, you, you arrive here very quickly. You must have driven very fast. You must have yeah. driven very fast. Okay. Okay, good. I'm going to visit the final breaker room. See you in a few minutes. See you. Hello. Hello. Have you finished the exercise? Yes. yes. Okay, good. Can you read number five, please? Yes. I often see that man in the street. He must live near here. That's correct. I often see that man in the street. He must live near here. Very good. Okay, I'm going to close the breakout rooms now. See you in one minute. Okay, teacher. Everybody, I'm going to close the breakout rooms now. Please, uh, I'll see you in one minute. Okay, everybody, number one, volunteer, please. Number one, I need a volunteer for the first one. Olivia, uh, Paola, number two, Alejandra, number three, Luis, number four, and Jose Vega, number five. Okay, and Claudia, number six. Okay, good, we have a lot of participants. Francisco, number seven. <laughs> Okay, Jenny number eight. Okay, sacaron número todo ahorita. Okay, okay, so uh, Olivia, please, number one. To be been traveling all day, you must be tired. You must be tired, that's correct. Thank you very much. Number two, Paola. The restaurant must be very good. It's always full of people. The restaurant must be very good. It's always full of people. Thank you, Paola. That's correct. Alejandra, number three, please. That restaurant can be very good. It's always empty. 
It's always empty. It can't be very good. Thank you, Alejandra. That's correct. Luis Enriquez, number four. Luis Enriquez, number four. I'm sure Kate, Kate gave me her, her address. I must have it somewhere. I must have it somewhere. That's correct. I Thank must you, have Luis. It somewhere. That's correct. Thank you, Luis. Um, Jose Vega, number five, please. I often see that man in the street. He must live near here. Must live near here. That's correct. Thank you very much. Claudia, please, number six. It's raining every day during the holiday. It's can I have been very nice for them. Okay. It can't have been very nice for them. That's right. Thank you, Claudia. It rained every day during their holiday, during their vacation. It can't have been very nice for them. Thank you very much. Jenny, number seven. Uh, the microphone, Jenny, please. Me pasa mía cada rato, no se preocupe. Congratulations on passing your exam. You must very you must be very happy. You must be very happy. Yes. Thank you, Jenny. I think quien más estaba pidiendo la palabra Francisco, me pareció que había levantado la mano también. Okay, Francisco, number 8, please. Hey. This bill can be correct. It's too high. Too high. Too high. This bill can't be correct. It's too high. Okay, that's correct. Thank you, Francisco. Estela, number nine. You arrive here very quickly. You must have drive very fast. You arrived here very quickly. You must have driven very fast. Okay, thank you. Estela, number 10. Who wants to try? Number 10, number 10, number 10. Michelle. Bill and Sue always stay at the five-star hotel. They can be short of money. Aha, uh -huh. Bill and Sue always stay at five-star hotels. They can't be short of money, right? No debe faltarles el dinero. Good. Thank you, Michelle. And number 11, the last one, Who wants to try. Final volunteer for this exercise. Mm -hmm. uh, Griselda, this time. <laughs> OK, thank you. Thanks, Jenny. Thanks, Francisco. OK, Griselda, number 11. Karen hasn't left the office yet. She, she must be working late tonight. She must be working late tonight. Okay, that's right. Thank you, Griselda. Very good. All right. That is great. Just a second here. Boy. Okay, um, we don't have much time, so we're going to have like a short review of this. Okay. Ya prácticamente vamos terminando una de las partes. ¿Verdad? De esta, digamos, unidad 4, no es exactamente una unidad, sino bien la sección 4 de la plataforma. Antes de continuar, quisiera saber si alguien tiene alguna dificultad para los ejercicios de la plataforma que podamos ver en este momento. ¿Alguna duda o consulta con respecto a los ejercicios de la plataforma? Nada por el momento. Bueno. En este caso, veamos acá. Repaso rapidito. Ok. These are the models. The models that you use to talk about possibility and certainty. Ok. May and might. Again, you use them to say that something is possible only. Veamos, ¿quién me puede decir una oración utilizando may or might para expresar algo que es posible? Puede ser una predicción, si es posible, ¿verdad? Let's see, who can tell me? I can say, for example, imagine, 
I may go to the beach in the weekend. Maybe. Okay. I am not sure. Si salgo con todo el trabajo, entonces voy. Pero si no, ni modo, me quedo. So I say, I may go to the beach during the weekend. How about you? What sentence can you tell me using may or might? Amilcar. Uh, I may, I may graduate the English, the English class, uh, the English course, course. Okay, uh, but can you repeat it? I may? I may graduate. Mm -hmm. Okay, graduate. I, uh -huh. I may graduate uh, the English course. course. Okay. Oh. I may graduate from the English course. Yeah. From the English course. Okay, Thank all you. right. No, pero sea más positivo. Diga que se va a graduar, no que tal vez se gradúa. <laughs> okay, let's see. Francisco. Uh, I may work uh, after this module. Okay, I may work after this module. Okay, so it's possible. You don't know yet. Okay, sounds good. All right, nice. One volunteer, this time with might. Puede ser cualquier cosa. Mm -hmm. One more volunteer, please. One more example. Not everybody at the same time, please. Wow, no, no volunteers this time. Okay. Okay, Amilcar wants to participate again. Okay, Sonia, okay, <laughs> ladies, ladies first. Okay, Sonia, let's do this. I may wait later tomorrow. I I may uh wake wake up, you mean? Wake up. Okay, I may wake later. up late late tomorrow. Late tomorrow. Mm -hmm. Okay. So day off tomorrow. You don't have to work. <laughs> no. Bueno, por si no escucha la alarma, entonces sí, es una posibilidad. Yeah. Okay. I may wake up late tomorrow. Okay. <laughs> Anda cansada. Okay, good. Amilcar wanted to say something else. Uh, they might they might have the reason. Okay, uh, yeah, but normally you don't say have the reason, you say be right. Uh, be right. Mm -hmm. So they, they might, uh -huh. yeah. Say tener la razón. Uh -huh. In English is be right. I don't know. Hey, I no, don't, no, no lo sabía. No lo uh -huh. sabía. You say, I didn't know. Be right. Entonces, hay que tener cuidado porque decir have the reason, that would be incorrect. Okay. Mm -hmm. So you say be right. That's the right one. So in this case, you say they might, sorry. They might. Uh -huh. They might be right. Uh, mm -hmm. They might be right. Mm -hmm. That's And the correct podría one. Podría estar lo correcto. O, oh, ajá, podrían, right. realmente, eh, es un poco difícil traducirlo palabra por palabra, porque decir, estar en lo correcto, perdón, es, eh, no es exactamente como hablamos en El Salvador. Mm -hmm. En El Salvador más bien decimos, podrían tener la razón, ¿ok? Pero sí, en mm -hmm. inglés, para decir que alguien tiene la razón o está en lo correcto, es be right, y lo contrario, Be wrong. Be wrong. Be wrong. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. All right. Thank you. <laughs> Good. So uh, for the next part, may and might, we have could also. Okay. Could is similar to may and might. You say it's a strange story, but it could be true. Okay. That means it is possible that the story is true. Just give me a moment. Okay, so uh, just remember, may, might, and could are three modal auxiliaries that you use to express possibility. 
But what happens when you want to express that you are sure about something? You want to express that you are sure that something is true or that you are sure that something is impossible. Okay, that's when you use must and can't, all right? You use must when you want to say that you are sure about something or that you are convinced about something, then you use must. What about can't? Can't is the opposite. You use can't when you want to say that you are sure that something is impossible or that you are convinced that something is impossible, okay? Like the examples, you have been traveling all day, you must be tired. Of course, when a person travels all day, at the end of the day, that person is tired, okay? Like right now, for example, I can say, you have worked during the day and you have had a class for one hour. You must be tired, okay? Oh, me equivoco. Me van a decir que no están cansados. Sí, les veo la cara de cansancio, ¿verdad? Entonces, yo les digo a ustedes, you must be tired. No es para menos, son las, casi las nueve de la noche. Okay, you must be tired. Entonces, es una conclusión lógica que yo saco, ¿verdad? Estaría yo 99.9% .9 seguro de que están cansados. A lo mejor a alguno ahorita le sobra energía por algún motivo. Se tomó tres cafés antes de la clase. Pero para los demás, lo más seguro es que estén bien cansados. Entonces, you must be tired. Ok. The opposite is can't. Ok, can't. Look at this. We use can't to say that we believe something is not possible. You just had lunch. You can't be hungry already. Okay, you can't be hungry. So, no, no puedes tener hambre ahorita. Les si acabas de comer. You can't be hungry already. And the second example, they haven't lived here for very long. They can't know many people. Okay, o sea, no es posible que conozcan mucha gente si se acaban de mudar. No han vivido aquí mucho tiempo. They haven't lived here very long. They can't know many people. So, uh, that's the review for this class. Tomorrow, we're going to continue with this other section. Let's see. Ah, we're going to talk about models of permission, prohibition, and obligation. So today we studied possibility and certainty. Tomorrow, permission, prohibition, and obligation. Before we go, um, let's see. Let me show this to you. This is the platform. Just let me see, we're in part four now. Permítame lo que carga, ya casi. Okay, allá vamos. No, perdón, este es el midterm. Just a moment. Okay. Ya para esta clase tendría que estar completo. Quiero ver lesson objective, feelings and gestures. Esta ya tendríamos que haberla completado. Es un objective que sería uh, body language and models of adverbs. Have you met Raj? Esta también ya tendría que estar, que es lo que vimos ayer. Talk about meaning, models and adverbs. Por acá vamos, ¿verdad? Entonces, eh, si ustedes pueden ver el video que está en el uh, punto 4.5, Y si es posible hacer el knowledge check, ¿verdad? El 4.6. Hasta ahí más o menos tendríamos que ir ya nosotros. Sí, de hecho por ahí vamos. Ok, mañana vamos a ir a este que sería 4.7, que es permission, prohibition oh, yes. and obligation. Uh, un pequeño recordatorio para todos. Eh, ya que la siguiente semana, el día 2 de noviembre, es un asueto, ese día no habría clase, ¿verdad? Así que. Para esa semana se va a reponer esa clase el día viernes 4. Así que como ya sabemos, los viernes normalmente no tenemos clase, pero esa semana sí, en reposición del asueto del, del uh, miércoles 2. ¿Verdad? Ok. So if you don't have any more, if you don't have any questions, we're going to finish the class here. Everybody, thank you. Thanks for your patience. And uh, I will see you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. See you. Take care. Tomorrow. Good night. Good night.